Shit, Jade and I went looking for Antizen and found explosives instead. Now we need to get the hell out of here before Tahir comes back. On my way. Green, you said we needed to talk about other options if we didn't find any antizen. And we will, but right now let's deal with these explosives, okay? Okay, listen. I'll give the explosives to Saeed and you talk to Rahim. Make sure he stays away from that hive. Will do. Don't worry. Don't worry? Right. You're Crane, right? I heard a man talking about you. Don't worry, I'm not going to call you 31. I mean, we're all people here, aren't we? Not just numbers? Yeah, I'm Crane. Who are you? My name is Haluk. Hey, so you've met Spike, haven't you? He's sort of our resident mad scientist. Yeah, I know Spike. Yes, Spike will tell you a lot of things. But there's also some things he won't tell you. Like his real name, it's Rudolph. Or that his birthday is coming up soon. He'll be 50. He doesn't look that old, does he? Are you saying I should get him some sort of birthday gift? Oh, goodness, no. He hates birthdays. It's just... Spike was renting a room from me when the outbreak happened. So I guess I'd probably know him better than anyone else in Haran. You know, he used to teach at the University of Southern California. He decided to take a... I, I suppose you could call it a, a sabbatical. There was a sort of an incident with a very attractive young co-ed. Whoa, 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 Spike walked away from his job and came to Ram because he had an affair with one of his students? Her parents seemed to believe it was the only way for her to pass his class. Not very bright people, if I had to guess. No, 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 there was no affair, only accusation. I don't even think it was the girl's idea. So then, what are you asking me to do for Spike? Well, if you could just... I'm just hanging out with him. Tell him I said hi, okay? Okay, I'll, uh, I'll get right on that. <laughs> Hi.
Hey, have you seen that house? If right. Yeah, I've got it. to be done around the tower. I hope you find some time to take a look. Jade called me. She's taking the explosives to Saeed. She wanted me to talk to Rahim about the volatile hive and how she wants him to stay the hell away from it. Saeed told me about the explosives you guys found. How perfect is that? Jade gave them to him. Saeed used to be on a bomb squad, so he knows about that stuff. Yeah, kid. That was a lucky find. Would have been better to turn up some antis in, though. My buddy Omar is making sure Saeed's putting good timers on those things. We have to be able to get our asses out of there before they blow. Whoa, we? There, there's no we in this. I, I mean, yeah, that nest needs to go, and now it's possible, but... But if it gets done, I'm doing it on my own. But... It's my plan. And I will execute it perfectly, I promise. But... Ah, oh, shit. There's no use arguing with you, is there? Fine. I'll contact you as soon as Saeed's finished with the charges. Raheem, do we have a deal? I guess. Do we have a deal? Yes. We have a deal. Okay, one more thing. I keep seeing this bizarre kind of infected. Is Dr. Zera out at his trailer? I'd like to talk to him about it. Nah, he's down in sick bay visiting Dr. Lena. Thanks, kid. I'll see you soon. You got a minute? Oh, it's uh, Kane. Yes. Uh, how can I help you? A crane. Remember when I told you about that weird infect that I saw? You know, the one who took one look at me and hauled ass away? Well, I just saw another one, and it did the same thing. Hmm. I believe I have heard your colleagues talk about those creatures. Bolters, they call them. Apparently, they favor certain areas of town over others, but only appear at night. I don't suppose you could catch one and bring me a sample of its flesh. You see, a thought occurred to me. A long shot, I realize. But if these creatures favor areas where I left my experimental bait, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Please do obtain a sample, but it has to be fresh. So you have to get it back to me quickly. Okay, and where exactly do I find these things? I'm told that Quartermaster chap has been keeping track of them. Seems there's some survivors of the bazaar, and the witch is one of them. 
Guess if anyone's gonna bullshit their way to safety, it's gonna be Dahlia, right? <laughs> Did you say she's a witch? She says she's a witch. She claims the infected won't even touch her because of her voodoo hocus pocus. They say she walked clean across the city without getting touched at night. Maybe she knows something we don't. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe she's just completely full of shit. How are you doing? I saw some people in this school. Got to wonder what they were doing there. Zera asked me to bring him a sample from that bolter I saw in front of the school. He said they'd been spotted in specific areas of the city, so I should focus my search in those places. He also said I needed to get that sample back to him while it was still fresh. So I gotta move. to be done around the tower. I hope you find some time to take a look at the board. Radio signals are stronger now. Rahim's electronic parts. <laughs> Don't expect the radios to work any better. The truth is, Rahim is trying to build a robot runner. He gets these crazy ideas in his head. People say that somebody turned on the antenna. What can I do for you? Doc Zera says you know where I should look for these, uh, bolters. Super fast infected, covered in big green blisters. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can point you in the right direction. Here, here, and here. Though you ask me, if trouble don't come looking for you, no reason to go looking for trouble. <laughs> Words to live by, thanks. Whoa, slow down. Come here. deal for you. Okay, talk is working like Hey, what's up, Spike? Just FYI, if you need me, I'll be at the ferry station up in Morgan for the launch.
Fallon, it's me. I'm near the cafe. Anything I should know? Stay clear of the latte. They tend to burn the milk. I've got your satchel. Now, where's the camera? My God, you're incredible. It's in the trunk of a black... the infamy bridge. Oh, that's not what I was hoping you'd say. last you are here. I sent for you days ago. Are you always so slow? Perhaps you are resistant to my summons. Good. The strong ones are more difficult, but always so much more worthwhile. You must be the witch. 
Such prideful contempt. But of course you do not believe in such things. Look, I'm here because I've been told that you... that you have an ability. You want to know how I walk among the Immortui without drawing their attack. Is that not so? Huh? Is it possible? For you? No. You are far too crude and ignorant to obtain such deep knowledge. But there is another way. Something I could make for you. It's fine, I'd be willing to trade. You are only here because I wish it. And it is my wish that you have this ability. You will need it to be of service to me. Tonight, you will go to the caves while the volatiles are out hunting. Collect as many black mushrooms as you can carry. And I will use them to prepare a tincture for you. That is all I require from you. For now. I can see you. I'm gonna get you out of there, but the first thing I need you to do is stop cranking that engine. You're just drawing them in. Right. Yeah, I wasn't thinking. Now stay put and sit tight. I'm gonna secure the area. Do you need help? Negative, Kristoff. Stay with the wounded. That's an order.
I've secured a safe zone. Oh, never been so scared in my life. Is it always like that? Pretty much. Hey, but you kept your head on and you saved those people's lives. It's, it's not bad for your first time out. Thanks, Crane. But if you hadn't shown up, we'd all be dead. How do you think your dad would feel about that? Like that? Oh, no, did he send you? Look, I'm not going to go back. I can't. I'm not working for Rice and his butcher squad. Look, I'm not asking you to go back. Well, that's what my dad wants, isn't it? He wants you to be safe. Yeah, working for Rice. How safe is that? It isn't. Sooner or later, they're gonna kill him. But if I can get your dad to stop working for Rice, will you hang up your running shoes? You're asking a lot. You could make weapons for Brecken. God knows they need them, and you'd be saving your dad's life. Okay. Get him to join me here, and I'll quit being around.
Okay, Doc. Here comes your chunk of zombie guts. Somebody's in the school. Our scouts spotted people entering the building. Ah, uh, Crane. Come in, come in. Did you get the samples I asked for? Excellent, excellent. I was just telling Dr. Kempton about... Hello, you. Mr. Crane. Glad to have you working with us. You uh, sound like an impressive individual. Interesting stuff what passes for blood in this creature. Photosensitive. Quite deadly if used on a weapon, I wager. But I digress. My last bit of reagent here, and a reserve vial of... Oh, my word. This tissue, it's testing positive for the recombined virus. Camden, do you know what this means? The meat experiment worked. When I dose the meat samples with the altered strain, it's had an effect. This could explain all the different mutations. But I can't. Camden could. He has the equipment. But we have no way to get the research to him. You can talk to him on the radio. Why not share the info that way? There's too much data, Crane. It would take years. We'd both be dead and gone before he finished. Water, water everywhere. And not a drop to drink. What if I delivered this stuff to you, Dr. Camden? By hand. The data and the tissue samples both. Yeah, but it could mean a cure, right? You don't know how much this means, dear boy. To me, to all of us. I'll contact you when everything's ready. You must go now. Much to do. Much to do. What? Fucking hell, Raheem, that was my job! Brecken. Brecken, do you copy? Yeah, I copy. What is it? I'm on my way to get Raheem. Raheem? He's here in the tower. No, he's not. He and Omar went to blow that nest, and now they're in trouble. It's like, what? Fuck! Where'd they get the explosives? Well, I... Look, I stole them from Rise. Oh, Jesus, I can trust. I'm close. I'll get him to safety, Brecken. You damn well better. You save him, you hear me? You save him so I can kick his fucking ass. Does Jade know about this? No, she doesn't. For God's sake, don't tell her. She'll go out looking for him. And I don't need her getting herself killed, too. God damn it! 